Hello everyone. So today we are going to talk about the surface landmark of the stomach. So as you all know, surface landmark of any organ is important for the surgical procedures as well as clinical examinations. So today we are going to talk about the surface landmark of stomach. So let us just start. So to draw the surface landmark of stomach, you have to draw two plane. So the first plane will begins from this sternal notch okay this plane is known as a median plane and to draw the median plane once you have to locate the sternal notch and then draw a vertical line that will extend up to the symphysis pubis okay this plane is known as a median plane so after drawing the median plane now let us draw the second plane which is known as a subcoastal plane so to draw the subcoastal plane what you have to do you have to count the rib okay and to count the rib okay let let us just start so this will be the first one this will be the second this will be the third one fourth one fifth one sixth one seventh eighth ninth and tenth okay so to draw the subcoastal plane uh, you have to count up to the tenth rib so once you counted up to the tenth rib now what you have to do you have to draw a horizontal line that will extend from this tenth rib okay so this will give you the subcoastal plane after completing all uh, this two plane now let us just see the exit landmark of the stomach to draw the uh, exit landmark of stomach again what you have to do you have to count the rib and now this time it will be on to the left side okay so okay so now again counting this will be the first second third and fourth okay so the fourth one will exactly locate it somewhere near to the nipple or just little bit below the nipple so now you have to go 2.5 centimeter lateral to the median plane okay and draw two parallel line which is directed onto the downward side and left laterally okay so this will this two parallel line will give you the landmark of the cardiac end of the stomach now again what you have to do now we are going to trace the pyloric end of the stomach and to draw the pyloric end of the stomach what you have to do you have to go one centimeter below one centimeter below the meeting point of your subcoastal plane and median plane after reaching the one centimeter below the subcoastal plane now what you have to do you have to go 1.5 centimeter right laterally and after reaching the right laterally again you have to draw two parallel lines which will direct it downward but now on this time this will direct it onto the right laterally after drawing these two landmarks this will give you the exact location of the pyloric end of the stomach so now after drawing this two line we are going to trace the lesser curvature and greater curvature so to draw the lesser curvature you have to join this two parallel line into the j shape okay so this will give you the first line will give you the lesser curvature and to draw the greater curvature you have to take a little bit upward convexity like this and then again you have to go all the way down up to this so this will give you the location of this stomach so after completing all this now let us see the location of this stomach so you can see over here this is the exit location of the stomach so this is how these things can help you in many of the clinical examinations as as well as many of the surgical processes to trace the stomach it is very easy you can see five points which is written on to the right side of the image so this will help you to draw the location of the stomach 
for with this i am ending up over here